Hello, Gary here, and welcome to another fine, handcrafted episode of MacMos Now. Today, it's time to answer some viewer mail. Let's get right to it. Marcio writes, My question is about software freeware or shareware to check out my system health, like temperatures, hard drive space, amount of processes, etc. Any suggestions? Well, yes, indeed. I've got some great suggestions. One is to use something called iStat iStat comes from iSlayer.com and it comes in different flavors such as a dashboard widget or a menu. And this thing allows you to go ahead and check all sorts of stats like the temperature of every sensor inside your machine, fan speeds, hard drive space, your network connection, everything. And of course you could also go ahead and use the standard activity monitor to go ahead and check for the processes running on your machine. You can look at that in your applications utilities folder. Here's one from Joe. Joe writes, is there a way to keep an alias to the Applications folder in the dock? Absolutely. Matter of fact, this is a great thing to do. Just drag the Applications folder to the dock. That's all you need to do. But you need to drag it to the right side of the dock in Leopard, past the dotted line. Then you'll have a stack. And a stack can pop up and show you all your different applications. You can also control click on the stack and control how it looks. This is a really handy feature. I not only have one for my Applications folder, but for my Utilities folder as well. Brian writes, I have a pretty large iTunes library. Is there a simple, automated way to find lyrics online and import them into iTunes? Well, yes there is. None of the solutions out there are really great because there are a lot of controls over the copyrights of the lyrics. There are some rumors that iTunes will soon have the ability to actually get lyrics for all the songs available in the iTunes Music Library and perhaps more. But until then, there's something called Gimme Some Tune. You can get that at gimmesometune.com. And this is a little menu item that works on your Mac with iTunes. And when you're listening to a song, you can have it automatically download lyrics and artwork. Now, the problem is if you want to get all the lyrics for all the music in your library, you have to listen to every song. But there's a little solution to that, kind of a hack. You can set Gimme Some Tune to actually download the lyrics automatically. And then you can use an Apple script called Needle Drop. Just search Google for a Needle Drop. That will actually play the first 10 seconds of every song. Thus forcing Give Me Some Tune to download all the lyrics and possibly all the artwork that it can find. Cam had a question that puzzled me at first. He wrote, What I have noticed in viewing your videos is they don't appear to fit on the iPod screen. More often than not I will miss certain things to the right or left of the screen as it will be out of shot for me. Now on my iPod things look fine. You see. The MacMost Video Podcast is in widescreen. So it should appear with black bars at the top or bottom on a standard 4x3 iPod screen. However, they weren't working this way for Cam. It turns out there's a setting. Under Video, Video Settings on the iPod, there's something called widescreen. And if you turn that off, then you won't be able to see things. You won't be able to see just about to here and about to here. Yeah, you should barely see both of my hands if you have things working right. Hello, and welcome back to Geek Girl TV. This is episode number 57, the first episode of season three. That's right. This week marks the return of Geek Girl TV. You can watch the new episode and subscribe to the podcast at macmost.com slash geekgirl. If you've got a question for me, you can always email me at questions at macmost.com. I'll either answer them in person or on a future video podcast. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.